The question says the right circular cylinder it just encloses a sphere of radius r. So what we are going to do is to make a right circular cylinder. Let's say I'm going to make a right circular cylinder. And it has been made in such a way that it, it just encloses a sphere. That means the sphere is such that its side touches the walls of this cylinder. That means we conclude that whatever is the radius of this or whatever is the diameter of the sphere will be the diameter of the cylinder. So we can write the radius here, say for example, if I say the radius of the sphere which is given, the radius of the sphere measured in this way or any other way we may measure. So let's say this be the radius of this. Take this as the diameter of this sphere. What you should know here that uh, this is R, this is always an R on. So we know the radius of this sphere as R, which is given. And what we can conclude that, that the height of this cylinder will be 2H. As we can see from the figure, you can say height of the cylinder is two times the radius or the equal to the diameter. Now, what we have to find in the first part, it says find the surface of area of the sphere. So surface of the area of the sphere will be applying the formula. That is surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. And as you can see in the question, the radius is r itself. So we will not be substituting or will not be replacing this r. So that is the answer for the first part. In the next part, they are asking to find the surface area of the curved surface area of the cylinder. So we have curved surface area of cylinder. We have a formula is 2 pi r h, 2 pi r h. Now, as you can see here, we have already calculated that the radius here is the height of the cylinder will be replaced with the height of the cylinder can be replaced with 2R. As for the question, we can replace this height of the cylinder with 2R. So we'll be writing 2 pi R is R and replacing this, replacing, replacing this H from here as 2R that is multiplied by 2R what do we get? 2 into 2 is 4 pi and r multiplied by r is r square. So it's again 4 pi r square. That's the part 2. So we got these two. In the next part, they are asking to find the ratio of the areas obtained in the first and the second. So the required ratio in this case will be this divided by this. So it's 4 pi r square that divided by 4 pi r square. As you can see, they have the same values. So we'll be writing 1 over 1 or 1 is to 1. And that should be the answer for this part.